Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome to a JDA tutorial. Um, I'm Didos, and if you don't know me already from the TSC Discord, I uh, was previously a moderator and I'm currently a developer on the TSC Discord. Um, now, what is a JDA? JDA is a Java API meant for Discord, mostly used for making Discord bots, which is what this series will be about. It's about making Discord bots, not in JavaScript, but in Java, mainly for those who are more familiar with Java and uh, for those who are lazy like me and don't feel like learning another language. Now, I already have my project set up, but before you uh, create a project, you will want to do a few things. You will want to download JDA, which I will link in the description, um, and you want to download with dependencies. It's important that you get the correct one. And you use that as your API. So if you're using IntelliJ, you can press F4 um, modules plus and find the directory of your jar. If you're using Eclipse, then uh, you can just go to the Java build path and add it from there. And uh, yeah, so we need to create our main class, which is where the bot will be set up and will be online. So I'm going to name this bot main. And if you are familiar with Java, you will know what I'm doing, but I will uh, explain everything just in case. So what I'm doing here is I'm making the main method, and in Java, the public static vo public sorry public static void um, main is uh, the method that runs when a program is started. So when the program is run, it looks for this method right here, and if it is available, it will run this method. So in this method, we need to set up our bot. So we need to call um, a JDA, make sure it's static, because uh, it has to be static to access static methods. So we have JDA. Now JDA is just the bot itself, its presence, and uh, the bot user. So we need to create a new JDA, uh, JDA builder. This is building the JDA. We want to make sure that it's a bot. Um, and now we need to create the bot user itself. So you can go to discordapp.com slash developers, go to my apps and create a new app. I will leave that link in the description as well. So here's my app. I'm going to name it uh, JDA Tutorial. I already have one previously made. And uh, you can change the uh, profile picture here. I, I won't do it just for now. But... Now we need to create the bot user, and there we go. Now we have our bot user. I'm going to make it require the auth2 grant, which be basically means that if you want the bot to join your server, you need the specific link with the code in it um, to be able to join your server. Just uh, in case, uh, you can make a public if you want it for public use, but um, this button right here will, here will create a link. Um, make sure you check administrator just uh, for future purposes when you're creating commands that may require administrator permissions. So I'm going to copy the link, but uh, I won't use it right now. Uh, now I'm going to go back to the uh, to here. Actually, we do need the token. So if you scroll down to the bot user, click reveal and copy the token. Um, now I can do dot set token and this registers as a string um, we do want to make sure this is as organized as possible so I like to create new lines and then dot build blocking so this is just building the rest now we also need to make sure that this throws an exception because if the token is not correct then the program would just die out so it needs to 
know that if it's not right, it'll just let us know. So there we go. Now we have our bot. It's set up, and if we run it, it'll go online. But first, we need to invite it to our server. So let me generate the link, and I will paste it in here. Uh, JDA tutorial and authorize. Let's uh, make sure we can get it in. And if I move Discord over here, you could see that JDA is tutorial bot is uh, in my server. So if I run this program here, let me uh, run. Now, if you don't already have this set up and you're using IntelliJ, you will have to make sure that this class is your main. But um. There we go. Now the bot is loaded, and there we go. We have the confirmation. The bot should now be online. There we go. The bot is online. So we have successfully set up our bot, and um, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll be going over events and how to manipulate the bot to do as you tell it. Thank you for watching.